Hello guys, today we're going to be looking at our Crypto Hopper Low Risk Strategy Automated Trading Bot 96 hour results. So it's four days results. I didn't do one yesterday because A, it was looking basically the same as what it did on the two day results and B, my kids wanted to play Roblox. So I thought, ah, screw it. And I left it. So. Uh, somebody asking in the comments for a one-week update on this strategy. Well, after I've made this video, guys, I'm going to be deleting this bot and setting up a new strategy. And I will upload a separate video with me setting up the new strategy, okay? And we're going to use a different time frame. Now, this one is running on the 15 minutes, and it's using the MACD and Stochastic indicators for buying and selling, all right? And, uh, well... Let's have a look. It has recovered somewhat, and as you can see here, it's had quite a few sales just quite recently, actually, past couple of hours. Uh, not too bad. And it's got $576 remaining in there. I'm going to check this video in a second to see, to see if I can remember where. Because we tweaked it, didn't we, in this video? Uh, where's them results? Come on. All right. All right, 479 was available there, and it had spent $521 in open positions. All right, so now it's got 428. So it's looking a bit better now. It's not, you know, it's it's grabbing back a bit more of my FUDs. And here are the current open positions which, like I say, have recovered a bit. Now, this FTM position here, remember in the two-day update video, this was at about 7.5%, wasn't it? Minus 7.5, all right? And after I made that video, like yesterday, sometime, it was minus 15%. It was well down. But look, that has recovered and it's it's coming back up. Where's the... Uh, I need the one hour. So yeah. So that's 14th of April. What is it now? 16th or 15th? It's 15th. Alright, so... When did it buy? Well, that's actually, that's actually when it did the DCA. Two days ago. So... Two days ago would have been the 13th. So if I look on that chart, in fact, I'll look on the trading view chart. FTM USDT. There it is. See, that's the recovery. All right. So, I mean, that's the five minute chart only, but that's the recovery. So I think when I made the two-day update, FTM was around this point here. And that's where it dropped to like minus 15. And it was looking bad. I, I left it though. That's that's the whole purpose. We're testing things, aren't we? So, uh, back to here. And like I say, I didn't do an update yesterday for two reasons. The bot was looking just as bad as it did on the two-day update, and the kids wanted to play Roblox on my computer. So I thought, screw it, let's let's take a day off and leave this bot running and do a four-day update instead. So, yeah, the guy asking about a one-week update, I can't, mate, because I want to delete this bot for the purposes of trying out a new strategy. Do you get me? I mean, of course, go ahead. Use your paper training bot and set up any of these strategies that you see me setting up. All all of these test strategies are using paper trading, guys. I'm not using my real money bot. I would never test like this on my real money bot. I have that running on the secret source on my real money bot, and I don't want to interfere with that. It's working just nicely. All right, the idea of me doing these strategy testing videos on the paper trading bot is... I'm I'm always searching for something even better than the secret sauce. And when I find it, guys, it won't even go on YouTube, actually. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Uh, it's going to replace my secret sauce. All right. So if I can get an average of 1.05% daily compound profits, 
and my secret source videos uh, sorry secret source settings I can if I can get more than that then I'll replace it obviously all right trade history let's have a look and obviously it's only been running four days so you're not going to see that much in there I think that's the whole shebangle yeah all right let's uh, sort it into the profits column best one was 3.31 percent uh, you can see hundred and four dollars there that had obviously been DCA'd two or three times I think three times yeah and it was about a hundred dollars hundred and one dollars or something after the three DCA's uh, that's obviously DCA'd a couple of times and there's no DCA it's, if you see something around the ten dollar mark it has not done any DCA's I, that's how I know something's bigger than ten dollars a lot bigger then I know it is not a DCA that's a DCA look yeah, that's a DCA there that's a DCA just shows you these DCA's they they work guys they help you recover uh, any more no nope. that's it all right there's forty six dollars that's a DCA buy order all right, so there's the results, and obviously it's still ongoing, but I am, after this video, I'm going to be deleting this bot and changing the strategy. Now then, this one here has not DCA'd yet. Why not? Well, it has. It has DCA'd, but it's at minus 15%, and let's have a look at EOS on the chart. Try to discern why it hasn't oh I know why because we changed the DCA max retries to two didn't we yeah in the last video so it won't do any more DCA's unless I tell it to yeah that's done a similar thing to FTM look that was the update the two-day update around here and then after that Israel Iran boom all right so that's recovering Let's have a look. It seems to be recovering. Is it going to go down more? Who knows? Who knows? Maybe Israel attacks Iran next. Black swans, guys. You can't avoid them. Even the stock market crashed. Right, so that is why we have DCAs. Oh, and if you remember in the last video, what was it? Was it around $29 down? Well, it's only $19 down. So it's recovered 10 of those lost dollars they weren't actually lost because you don't lose anything until you sell if I sell this now then I lose 15% of $34 let's have a look how much that would be that would be $5.28 if I was silly enough to panic sell the whole point of DCA guys is when the market dips and it does dip frequently you DCA and when it recovers you make more profit all right let me show you what I mean by more profit um, that position at the top of here hundred and four dollars all right three point three one percent okay is it better to get three point three one percent on around a hundred dollars it's actually hundred and one ish dollars is it better to get a three point three one percent profit on a hundred and one dollar trade or is it better to get 3.31% on a $10 trade well I can tell you on a $10 trade it would only be about 30 cents profit 33 cents all right but because it's DCA'd a couple of times three times I think this one that means that it has made 3.31% on top of $101 around a hundred and one dollars it's added three dollars thirty one more than more than three dollars thirty one it's probably around three dollars seventy all right so that shows how useful DCA is now so sometimes you'll find yourself once you get used to running the bots um, 
you get scared in the beginning. Oh no, this is 5% down. Should I panic sell? No, don't do that, guys. Because what, what happens is, when it goes 5% down, and then 10% down, 20% down maybe, and these crashes, 25% down even, some of the altcoins dropped 30%. That is DCA time, guys, and that is where you make more money than if it hadn't dropped. All right, example there. That didn't do any DCAs. That was a $10 buy order, and it was probably came in at around $9.95 when it was open in the bot. It won't have been exactly $10, but obviously it made 2%, which was around 20 cents profit. And that's not a lot of profit, is it, guys? That's just a, a micro trade, but all these tiny profits, they add up. However, if the market goes south, the bot DCAs, and it recovers, and then you end up with a bigger position, and 2 or 3% of a $100 trade is a lot bigger than 2 or 3% of a $10 trade. That's why this is so cool, all right? DCA. All right. So, how would I get that to recover? Let me just see how many DCAs that did. I think it did two. Yeah. Now, as you can see, in the last update, the two day update, I changed this from three down to two. And I also changed this from nine to 12.5. All right, and it's only doubled down. So if I l if I was to switch that to three, and save it, it doesn't matter. It's only a paper bot. I'll do it. All right. So three things have got to happen before it does a DCA on that big position. Let me tell you what it's got to do. Number one, it's going to wait one hour. It's got to wait one hour. Once it gets to minus 12.5%, if it's more than 12.5% and it's more than one hour and EOS gets a new buy signal here on that 15-minute MACD indicator, it will then DCA, but only if it hasn't done three DCAs already. Now I've just changed that to three from two. So it's done two. Now it's allowed to do one more. But because I've switched that on, that means all of these are allowed to do three DCAs also. So be careful with that guys. Alright? So if that DCA is now and it doubles down it's going to buy another 35.5 EOS. So if we just come down to here and we type in 35.5 and we choose EOS in there, we'll even find out how much it's going to spend on that DCA. All right. 35.5. Amount of EOS to buy. So that would cost $28. Now look, it's not going to cost you $34, but I, I approximate this thing in my mind for easy calculations, yeah? So if that DCA is, I always say to myself, right, it's going to spend another $34 because it's going to double down, but it will only be 7.5% down once it DCAs. Actually, a bit more, maybe closer to 8% down after a DCA. But it's not actually spending 34, it's going to be spending 28, 29 on that DCA. Because it is buying 35.5 EOS, and EOS is now 15% cheaper. Alright? Do you get me, guys? DCA is awesome. Now... So in the next video, which I should upload in a couple of hours after doing this video, two videos today, hey guys, um, I will I will change the strategy and I'm going to change things up a bit. I'm going to change the time frame. I think the 15 minute time frame is not really a good all around strategy to use because, you know, 
you don't want something coming down like this and then maybe buying based on the 15 minute here buying here and coming up just a little bit and then coming down further you get the way it works is you get more solid solid buy signals if you use a higher time frame but on the flip side you've got to you've got to wait longer for each trade a to come in and B to make profit and sell does that make sense smaller time frames and more scalping kind of time frames and obviously if you're on a tight a smaller time frame and uh, you do you start the bot here whoa it's doing well yeah cool cool make making lots of profits but then you might be in an open position and then boom minus how many percent in that one open position now remember you might have made let's say you've got EOS and you made lots of profits you, you let's say you've made I don't know 10 trades on EOS and you've got a couple of percent profit on each one all right all the way from here to here all right and then you it's in a new trade and then boom it drops how much did that drop blimey look at that forty three blooming percent guys yeah so you'd be making money along here going yeah this is great this is cool whoa look at all these profits coming in alright you made me do ten trades there for example alright and you made I don't know if you're ten dollar buy orders twenty dollar buy orders something like that maybe let's say you've made uh, I don't know five dollars profit total in this section here from EOS the small trades all right and then suddenly you're in one trade boom it comes down 43 percent now a ten dollar buy order minus 43 percent you've lost nearly all of that five dollars if you sell down here obviously but you don't sell because you're DCAing all right so maybe the bot would do a DCA around here let's find that 12.5 percent point all right so let's say it came down to there did a DCA all right and it comes back up and you're in profit but it didn't it went down even more so another DCA kicks in but then it didn't go up and it went down even more and then your third DCA kicked in now because we DCA three times it means that find horizontal let's say you bought here let's say just approximation guys let's say this is minus 15 percent sorry minus 12.5 you DCA there and then so DCA 1 here DCA 2 about here and the third DCA around here it's all rough stuff guys just to explain to the newbies ten dollars spent here total of twenty dollars spent here total of forty dollars spent here see what I mean when I say I double it up because it's not going to be double all right so ten dollars spent twenty dollars spent forty dollars spent and what's double of forty is eighty dollars spent so that EOS position approximately eighty dollars but a fair bit less because you've got in cheaper so you're buying remember you are buying the same amount again not the same dollar amount alright so like I say with that thirty four dollar position to do a double down DCA to get to seventy point one EOS coins we would have to spend 28,676. That, see, that's changed because the price has changed. All right, and that'll keep changing as the price goes up or down. So that's good, guys. That is the whole point of DCA. That's why one, two, three DCAs here. And as a result, 
That brings your average price, guys. If you bought here, bought here, bought here, and bought a final time here, where does that average price bring you to? This is the beauty of DCA, guys. Approximately here. All right, I'll change that to white. Now that is your average buy price after three DCAs. Buy, 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 buy. Now your average price is around here. And I'm doing this approximate, guys. It could be down here. Could be up there. But it's somewhere around the halfway mark. All right. Now, as you can see, what's it got to do to get in profit? It's only got to come up from where it is another 9%. All right. It doesn't have to come up 43%, you know, from the drop. Because you DCA it here, you've got an average price. That first DCA will bring the average price down to here. That's on your first DCA. Okay? And if it had recovered, it would only have to go from that average price there. Sorry, it would only have to go from that price there that you DCA'd at back up to here to be break even. And then back up to there, nice profit. There you go. Cool stuff, DCA guys. Let the bot do what it's supposed to do. Don't get scared when you see positions down. This will happen often. You will often see this kind of thing. It is perfectly normal, guys. All right? The only way to avoid this happening is never trade crypto or the stock market or anything. Trading is not for you if you can't handle this kind of... Um, uh, what would say bloodbath yeah things go down as well as up but you take advantage of them going down you DCA all right that's how you you win more times than you lose in fact with you know DCA and the secret source which is below the link in this video by the way DCA secret source settings the right signals the right strategy the right trailing stop loss configurations all that stuff you can you can make a lot more money and you can even do zero losses as long as you never panic sell all right guys what was that before was that 15 or was it 16 let's see yeah that's getting cheaper isn't it oh no no, no, no. Yes, it's the same. It's the same. All right. So, guys, four-day update for this strategy. It's, um, I would say, even though I know you're looking at this and you're thinking, oh, that's no good. It's all right. Really, it's not bad. It's not bad. So that will DCA again. That will do one more DCA. And that'll take that up to what's thirty-five dollars? Sorry, 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 sorry. What's thirty-four dollars plus twenty-eight dollars? Thirty-four, forty-four, fifty-four, sixty-four minus two, sixty-two-ish dollars. About sixty-two dollars. So that position will turn into a $62 position after it has done three DCAs. And if it does a DCA around this point, now that's going to be double down, so it's going to cut this percentage in half. So it'll be 8% down, and it'll only have to go up another 8% from that 8% down to break even, and then a couple of extra percent to get into profit easy peasy and it'll be a bigger profit let's say it goes to two percent on a sixty two dollar trade calculator time sixty two times uh, plus plus two percent 
So it's a dollar twenty-four instead of the original size was ten dollars. Well, obviously it was, would be twenty cents. Is a dollar twenty-four on that one trade better than twenty cents? Of course it is. Of course it is. All right. So I'll leave it there, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. If you want the secret sauce, it's below the video. It's right there, guys. Yeah, click that link. It'll take you to my website. Watch the short video. Get Crypto Hopper here. And you will see my affiliate ID will appear here in the browser URL you can add me on Skype using this you buy CryptoHopper through my link you click here that page will still be open look unless you're on mobile and then you create your account you save the cookies here and did you see how my u my uh, user affiliate appears there and then it disappears that's normal all right and then it brings you across to here you create your account and you pay for a subscription and then you come back here you go down to there and you open your Skype and you search for me on your Skype and you add me and you say hi Jim I just bought a plan using your link just five minutes ago just ten minutes ago whatever don't leave it a week guys <laughs> some people actually do that you know oh yeah I did it a week ago and it's very difficult to um, to locate them in my affiliate stats and I don't know if they're making it up or not so don't do that because uh, I'll likely say sorry mate no I don't believe you because I didn't have any sales that day or I only had two sales and they claimed the secret source. I'll know. I'll know. All right, guys. That is it. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, share this video if you want to be extra helpful. And I will see you again in the next video or in the secret source. And the next video will be setting up a, a new strategy and that will be a couple of hours from now. All right. So let's bring on Bertie. Bye-bye, guys. Come on, Bertie.